Last Saturday was Catter Day here at Pipe and Thimble Bookstore. Not only did we have the incredible cat rescue with us, the Cat Cove, as well as Sylvester, one of their cats up for adoption, but we also had two of our amazing, talented, handmade artisans, Jessica Salagi from Knucklehead Ranch and Cards by Angie. So here's just a little bit of what you missed if you couldn't make it. We also did that day a tour of the bookstore following paw prints that either offered facts about cats, how to say cats in different languages, or talked about some of the books we have featuring cats. And I'm going to take you on a tour of those paw prints right now. So the green ones, such as this, slow blink from a cat means I love you, are different facts about cats and you can see some of our Valentine's Day display. Blue ones, such as this one. Do you know how to deal with the grief of losing a beloved cat? It's the one that talks about the books featuring cats. So if you're dealing with the grief of a beloved cat, our hearts go out to you, and a good book to try might be Buried Deep in Our Hearts by Tracy Barton Barrett. The orange ones are the ones that teach you how to say cat in different languages. And I apologize ahead of time for any butchered pronunciations, but I'll give it a go. Um, Kati is how you say it in Zulu. Paka is how you say cat in Swahili. And once again, I apologize for any mispronunciations. Do you know a cat with bat wings? You can discover such a cat in A.E. Decker's The Falling of the Moon by World Weaver Press. Let's see. Can you find any more paw prints? There's quite a few of them. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, cats dislike citrus scents. So you might want to avoid the uh, lemon dryer balls, but the lavender or rose might be really nice if you're living with a cat. This is just some of our scented products. Keep an eye out for some of our essential oil classes with Jessica Slodgy of Knucklehead Ranch. We have um, one coming up soon. Let's see, we're just starting. Ah, let's start with this one. Do you know how a scaredy cat can become brave? You can discover that in Chicken Noodles by Dr. Anobis Trickle. From Sage Kitty's Cards, Bookmark by Acorn Tops. Do you know what a cat is jealous? Why a cat is jealous? Well, you can figure that out in No One Likes to Hear Me Sing. Certain cats go crazy for potato chips. Sounds like Trixie would be good friends with that cat. About half the cats in the world respond to the scent of catnip. If the cats you know are part of that population, you might want to try the Cat Sash Catnip Toy by Knucklehead Ranch. Do you know how a cat solves a mystery? You can find out in Boo and Oscar in the Fantastic Fudge Fiasco by Wendy L. Koenig. A card by Angie. Let's see, do you know how a cat can be entertained on a rainy day? Find out in the Unexpected Rainy Day by Hannah Shafiroff. Let's see, oh, I think we missed a paw print. It's a little hard to see, but it reads, a group of cats is known as a clouder, clutter, glaring, or pounce. I'm particularly fond of pounce. And those that pounce of glass cats over there is by Doc Cannon of Over Coffee Podcast. Let's see. So, gato is how you say cat in Spanish. This is one of our all Spanish books for kids, La Resurrección del Petito by Soledad Sainz. Let's see. Mao is how you say cat in Mandarin. 
Neko, so you say cat in Japanese, and in Wendy's Wabi by Debbie Johnson, you can learn some Japanese words as well. So this is how you say cat in sign language. You want to make like you're petting a cat's whiskers. And you can learn more um, signs from Feel the Sound. There are some more paw prints. Start down here. Abraham Lincoln had four cats while he lived in the White House. You can find out more information about Abraham Lincoln in 36 Hours to Save the President by Alan Trock. Jatul is how you say cat in Hebrew. And um, Conspiracy of Dreams by Sandra Biber Didner. Um, it takes place in Israel. Chat is how you say cat in, Fr in French. And let's see, the Imperial Season series by Mary Lancaster of Dragon Blade Press, Dragon Blade Publishing, takes place in France. And the McEwan Family series by Barbara Lieberman features a character who's originally from France and uses um, French terms as endearments. So stop on by for some of our other fun upcoming events where we are hopefully going to be doing more of these types of tours and possibly even bingo games using that information.